सहनावतु सहनौ भुनक्तु सह वीद्यंकवाह तेजस्वीनावधी तमस्तु मद्विषा वह ओं शातिशाशा गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेशर गुरुरेव परम ब्रह्मा तस्म श्रीगुरव नम तस्म श्रीगुरव नम हरिओम एवरी वन आई एम हियर इन फ्रंट ऑफ ऑल ऑफ यू टू शेयर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट मोमेंट इन माई लाइफ and consciously aware that that moment definitely has an impact on all of you so i would want to express myself explain myself and would like to have your undivided attention so please hear me out <clears throat> in 1993 i left my parents house to join the brahmachari training course and then i was in vijayawada for 8 years there was a need in dallas so in the year 2002 i was moved to dallas and be responsible for the dallas center activities so i left india in june june 26th i think 2002 and since the day i have arrived for last 20 years i have been putting forth my effort to reach out and be there for the community here and various other responsibilities that have been given unto me to work here in north american context but my request to whether it was puja guru ji swami tejo manan ji or to the present head of our chinmay mission puja swami swarupanand ji mukhya swami ji has always been every year when i meet them i ask them uh, their permission and blessings to be sent back to india so that i can work at grassroots level activities for our own hindu community because many of us know and we hear that you know we have not done much for our own community and when we hear a lot of outrage on various social media whether it is on youtube or facebook or twitter or instagram we have that outrage but we we seldom find the opportunity to go back and do something in the ground work that has been my uh passion my inspiration which i had from gurudev and that that uh, light of passion has always been kindled and kept firm by guru ji by swarupanand ji and various other mahatmas whether they are in the mission or outside of the mission so whenever uh, whether it was guru ji or swarupanand ji when they would visit dallas specifically i would take time and try explaining my passion to go back to india after 20 years uh, puja swami swarupanand ji gave me that opportunity to hear me out i'll always be grateful to him for that very compassionately he heard me and he said do i would want you to stay back he said this to me stay back in us and continue 
because there is so much that has to be done here but having heard my plea my request he said it didn't feel right to bolt me here and ask me to continue here as well so just because i personally have asked over and over again he very with lot of compassion lot of love uh, he said sarvesh i'll give you with lot of uh, heavy heart and uh looking at your passion the permission to go back to india uh though i had requested this in the month of august when he was here puja swami ji was here for uh, the maha samadhi camp but then he gave the confirmation in the last week of september then i sat down with our board members our uh cmdfw board members explained my request to puja swami ji and that it has been approved my request to the board was that we announce this to the congregation and take leave of all of you and go back to india wherever i'll be relocated in i'll come to that in the later part of my my this dialogue with all of you <clears throat> so the board was not very happy they were shocked uh they they got out of that shock and then uh, over the discussion they said this is too short a notice to leave in december but they requested me to stay back because i have been here for 20 years there are a lot of strings attached to the very core activities core things that have evolved over my stay here so those uh, knowledge transfer responsibilities transfer and various things that have to be done so that when i leave there is in future there is no ball dropped and the activities can continue and the future can be built more on this so we had a meeting today on the 15th of october with uh, pooja swami ji swami swarupanand ji and there was a lot of healthy discussion lot of questions answered there were questions by the board to pooja swami ji there were questions by the board to me and uh, both of them both aspects were covered and after uh, the thorough thinking uh, puja swami ji uh, said that it would be okay if i leave after the year is completed so once the academic year ends on may 21st i'll be i'll be planning to leave for india and uh, i'll be where i'll be stationed is not yet decided uh puja swami ji said when i was talking to him my ask my request was outskirts of vijayawada between vijayawada and gudiwada there is a small ashram which i have been associated with with lot of rural development activities uh, health camps and various other details where recently we had a huge alay pratishtha for bhagwan shri ramchandra ji shiv ji and ganesh ji so my ask was there that i would be sent there and i would live there and i'll start my grassroots activities there puja swami swarupanand ji heard me my request and he said uh dekho sarvesh you are you have been there in chinmaya mission for the last 30 years since 93 till now and uh, though you are service you are a senior in the chinmaya mission cadre of swamins and brahmacharins and yet age is on your side uh, and with this kind of experience to 
give you to a small village is like not justifiable for the resources that can be well spent so he said i'll be giving you something as a heavy task a hard nut to crack in his words and while fulfilling that i can take care of this rural project and various other grassroot activities so the place of placement is not yet ascertained but definitely in india where whether most probably i think it would be in southern india and uh, wherever it is it is a welcome gesture for me to work for the passions and the idea that i have now one aspect that i would want all of you to understand is i have lived here for about 20 years and in these 20 years i have uh, i have uh, you know i have uh, grown to be 47 year old and i have given my 110% to not just dallas but various other activities while living here so if i look for future i have maybe about another 15 to 20 healthy years on my side god willingly with gurudev's blessings that i can focus for that very reason for which i left home so that i can dedicatedly work passionately work for that aspect uh, and uh, find a sort of fulfillment uh, in realigning myself to that vision that I have had. Now, what is that vision? So the vision is wherever we as Hindus have spread, our root is always Bharat Varsha. And in my own living history, we have seen the deterioration of that root value system. And if the roots become hollowed out, wherever the branches are, it will, it will fall quite, uh, quite helplessly. So if it has to be strengthened branch trunk leaves fruits flowers everything has to be strong as we grow the roots have to be strengthened so when we make a statement like uh, you know what have we done what have we hindus done for our own hindus back in india i think i can make a difference so going to the village level whether it is at uh, the uh, children uh, based activities or for the women folk for the mothers um, for the uh, men for the self-employment for micro banking there are various schemes that can be done where it can support uh, the temple systems are there uh, that have to be revived and uh, the practices have to be revived the pride in those practices and the continuation of it to the next generation because if this generation fails to give that to the coming generation i think we would have not just failed a child or two but the entire generation so with that aspect with a strategy to work at village level town level district level then at the state level so there's a lot that has to be done there's a lot that can be done there is uh, there is a whole scope so when i say all this it is not like there is something that is already set there and i'll have to go take over that there's nothing waiting for me there i have to go and create this entire infrastructure entire resources people and the skill sets for all of that from the scratch as I go there and to establish that it is going to take time and I'm sure that with Puja Gurudev's blessings uh, 
I will find because one of the motivating factors for me is जब इरादे पक्के और नेक हो तो रास्ते अपने आप आसान हो जाते हैं सो वेन यू हैव अ फर्म क्लैरिटी कन्विक्शन विथ अ हायर गोल एंड वेन वी आर हंड्रेड परसेंट डेडिकेटेड टू इट भगवान विल शो द वे लाइक वेन आई वॉज इन डैलस सी इंग्लिश स्पीकिंग इज नॉट माई फोर्टे हिंदी इज द लैंग्वेज दैट आई थिंक इन बट वेन आई केम हियर I picked up. I still probably have an accent, my own accent, and uh, with the constant love, support, and encouragement from the DFW community, we grew up from about eighty, ninety families to today what we are. So thick and thin, whether it was COVID, whether it was pre-pandemic, various activities, various ups and downs, you all have. given me all your love support and unequivocally been there as my backbone my own family here these many thousands of miles away and uh, you have fed me bhiksha right from the day that i came you have accepted me allowed me in your homes as your family member a brother to somebody a fatherly figure to some uh a younger brother to some but you have accepted me in your family as a family member which can never be paid back it can only be paid forward uh the point again being that the support will come i am i am very sure of that uh with my conviction in bhagwan and gurudev it will happen i am not worried about that part of it it will happen so when i move out and be placed in india wherever it is uh the work is not cut out the plan is cut out and i have to go create everything that's about me but what hell what will happen to dallas dallas i think in the last 10 years i have actively worked uh actually all 20 years but for it to shape up in the last 10 years we had this youth activities specifically the yuva kendra and through the yuva kendra uh, the yap program and through the yap hundreds of students over the last six batches that have gone through there have been many people that have been inspired to go do complete two year vedanta course whether it is in trinidad whether it is in uh, bombay the brahmachari training course there are many who came back inspired but they chose to walk the path of grahastha ashram there is nothing wrong in it but for the longevity and the purposefulness uh we are lucky that we have several who have dedicatedly taken to this path of renunciation so specifically coming to dallas i'll not go talking about the rest of it but specifically talking about dallas we see brahmachari hari chaitanya we see brahmacharini divya uh, austin has uh, suchita chaitanya so after me as i move out hari chaitanya will take the leadership role uh, supported by uh, my request my plea to all of you is the same love and support that you have shown me continue to shower the same blessings on hari chaitanya and divya brahmacharini divya to take this to a newer height i have myself seen brahmachari hari in his purva ashram he i have seen him since he was what fourth grade i think and i have seen how he has grown how he has matured how he has uh, consistently worked at uh, looking at his life his challenges and grow steadfastly and uh, i see several amazing uh, leadership qualities administrative capacity 
organizational skills that he has trained himself to to be my confidant for the last 3 3 and a half years after his vedanta course so he'll be taking a lead when i came into this country i was probably 2 years younger than what hari chaitanya was when he came in but with your love and support uh, we built the entire dallas fort worth and and that's what assures me that with somebody who has his head and heart dedicated for a lofty cause you will definitely support him as well i would request all of you to be with him consistently now if i move out there will be three centers and two brahmacharins ye hisab nahi baith raha hai so i have requested for another brahmacharin to join who if everything works out and we are blessed to have before i leave i'll have at least 6 months to work with the newer brahmachari uh, who'd come from the present vedanta brahmachari training course and uh, i'll have the opportunity to work and train and that would be the third aspect of it to fit into the system um the board the teachers group the coordinators the colleagues the back end you know sevaks whether it is on the web team whether it is on the seva team whether it is on the there there's the entire family here uh you all have stood up shoulder to shoulder every single time with every uh with with matching intensities with every intent to serve the community so i cannot thank enough to all of the tireless sevaks the way i look at it is i have given my entire life for it and i am expected to serve that is what i have signed up for that when i took this diksha i took this diksha to understand very un- understanding it very well that i am dedicating my life for gurudev's vision for the sake of hinduism for the sake of uh, the hindu renaissance to bring our values ethics morals culture tradition back to our hindus in a way that they understand better generation after generation this tradition continues now that same inspiration and understanding all of you have shown uh, whether it was the families that have fed me countless bhikshas uh, whether it is the families that have stepped up Uh, contributing whether it was five dollars or five thousand dollars or fifty thousand dollars, as per your commitment, as per your involvement, as per your shakti, yatha shakti yatha matim, you have supported and you have stood by. So please stand by with uh, Hari Chaitanya. Share the same love. he definitely deserves nothing less than the sky and he has the capacity to fly so i wish him all the best and uh, i really thank each one of you at different capacities to to have the trust in me and uh, send your kids to balavihar camps or send them to yap courses or to yatras to india or to seva trips to sri lanka or latikata or wherever else that we have taken them and it was a joy it was a joy being here 20 years it is a joy to see that you know at least about two generations of kids that have grown that i have seen them since they were kids they have grown up they got into professional life they got married now they have kids and those kids 
I know of at least a dozen or so who have come back to join in as Balavihar students and those kids have taken active role in being, now they are parents, they are no more kids, they have taken active role in being there in the mission and participating as active volunteers. So this parampara, this parampara should continue and uh, I look up to you one more time to make sure that in my transition and my succession plan, I would want you to support Hari Divya and other Brahmacharans that will come here to support the mission activity. And as you support these Brahmacharans with love, guidance and help them grow, in their growth is where the mission will also take stride. The deeper that they are allowed to go and supported, the higher will be the glow of this mission and its activities and its reach. So the idea, coming back to the, uh, the very purpose that I am having this dialogue with all of you, is to be to be able to communicate that this passion of mine which was i wouldn't say shelved but it had a different repurposing of it in us but as i've shared with you our collective roots of our tradition sampradaya and sanatana dharma is back in india in bharat and uh, I am not like leaving or abandoning, but I am trying to take something more, in a way difficult, in a way more uh, uphill task. Please continue to shower your support and blessings to, to be able to achieve not as anything as my personal achievement or an accomplishment so that this life that Gurudev has blessed to allow it be dedicated to this cause that it be dedicated better. Uh, once I move there will I ever come back? There is no restriction as such but it will not be like a movement wherein maybe like you know, every six months or every so often that I would have the opportunity to come because I am taking a Herculean task, uphill task. Once in a while, definitely I would come. I would love to come. I would love to see all of you again as I embark into this next phase of my life. At the same, in the same note, in the same breath, I would also request that when you come to Bharat Varsha after I move, wherever I am placed, uh, please visit, please do spend some time and spend time with me and uh, I am sure I will be, I am a restless kind, so I am sure I will be taking some yatras, some important ones and some adventurous ones, so I will send you those those uh, that information and uh, you can always participate you can always um, come and be a part of it as i make this change i'll be in bharat so i'll have probably a different cell phone network number uh, I'm assuming if things go well, I should have those contact and other information to share with all of you before I leave. So that this contact that we have established over the years, uh, I don't think it is an arbitrary one that uh, ho gaya, khatam ho gaya, aage bad gaye, chhod ke chale gaye. No, this will continue even after I shift to India. You can always reach out. I'll be just a phone call away. It's not a cliched statement, you know, I'm just a phone call away. Uh, reach out, send me messages, be in touch. Uh, so I've covered 
uh, what is my plan i have covered when is it that i am planning to move i have also covered whether it will be feasible to be in touch in contact i have covered if i'll be coming back anytime soon i have covered uh, almost several aspects that you might probably have a question about uh, what what is the succession plan i have explained will there be anybody else uh, yeah if i have to cover that one aspect again i would say i have complete faith trust and it's a joy joy to see hari hari chaitanya the way he has he has uh, trained himself and grown to be a man that he is a brahmachari that he has dedicatedly been working for the last 3 and 1/2 years uh will there be any other senior swami or somebody no i am not planning to ask for any other senior swami as i said i'll reiterate it it would be a fair ask for enough space enough support enough love from all of you for him to to be able to grow uh it is not i don't see it as he trying to fit into my shoes each one comes with their own size each one comes with us our own vasanas he has his own talents he definitely doesn't suck like me at singing so that is his skill set he has he's born and brought up in this country in this very state in this very county he is grown up here right here so he knows these entire uh, entire uh, generation and they they click well with him so i have complete hope i just uh don't think it would be right to have anybody else other than him to take this lead so i have covered that aspect as well uh though i am over processing it over thinking about it and assuming that i have covered several aspects uh i'm sure there will be several of these queries uh and i don't want to leave without answering any of these queries i want to put every mind to rest and find their answers so tomorrow will be beginning of that effort tomorrow after this announcement is made and you get to hear this in the evening on the 16th october uh, there will be a, a town hall meeting matlab ek meeting hoga where all of you i would request the parents the teachers specifically those that where i am not directly interacting with in person so i would request all of you to take time 5 to 6 i know there is a cowboy game with eagles from 7:20 so we will sharply conclude by 6 you can be home for your cowboy game and i wish i wish uh, real and pray that uh, they really win this game with eagles but that apart 5 to 6 we'll have the town hall meeting where you can bring all your questions and uh, i'll try to patiently answer all your questions all your queries uh this is not in any way a decision made by pooja swami ji or board or anybody thrusting it on me it was my choice my desire my passion my visualization of something that can be done at so it is not to hurt anybody it is not to leave a sense of abandonment in anybody it is i have come in and you have shown enough enough love enough support i would want to reciprocate in the same way and uh, be there and once you understand there will be a sense of understanding and closure 
uh, to this particular event of me transitioning and the sooner we understand it and the faster we can move in into the groove wherein we will start focusing on that which is pertinent which is Gurudev's vision and in his vision I am mere, merely a spoon that a little a spoon that could help in stirring the society uh, I am equally a volunteer as a sevak as you are Maybe I wear a weird orange color or earlier a yellow color, but that doesn't make me any specific great or low. And that is what I always took pride in, uh, took uh, that dignity to work with each one of you shoulder to shoulder as a sevak. And that is the spirit that which will, will take us uh, forward. So it is not like this is coming to an end it's a new chapter and i welcome you to that new chapter wherever i am be a part of it and support me as you have always supported so if what i have just explained doesn't get across with you know quenching all your queries please come to today's on the 16th evening 5 to 6 saket the town hall meeting and uh, I'll try to answer. The board members will also be there. We will try to answer your queries. Uh, I know this is kind of a bummer, a shocker to many, but uh, I had to. I had to come out and share all of this with you, so that uh, sooner than later, so that before I leave, things are put in proper perspective. I wouldn't want to see that which has grown so beautifully with all your support for last 20 years get squandered with without proper planning and proper timing. So hoping that hearing me after hearing me, you would all come back jumping in to see where you can uh, put in your shoulder and see what newer heights that we can take it to so with that said i think i will conclude for now uh, but if you have any questions as i said please come back at, at the town hall meet and we will try to i will try to um, take every effort to answer your questions last I don't want to take names, I don't want to take groups, every single individual with whatever capacity that you have helped, you have been there for last one year to last 20 years, in every capacity that you have made my life a great experience, thank you all, cannot thank you enough. And uh, I think it is also right for me to say at the end that at the end of the day, however intensely working as a sevak, being a human, I'm sure I've had my share of uh, mistakes for the grievances that I may have generated, produced and provided <laughs> though the meaning of producing more than what we consume it meant all things positive I am sure I have had my share to provide that to some of you or many of you I think this would be the right time to invoke Puja Gurudev's blessings in your kind hearts and uh, try forgiving me if possible if anything that has been done which was not to your taste and it ruffled your feathers it ruffled your uh, touched and uh, bruised uh, in any way kindly have a large heart 
to find that moment to forgive and let's forge a new chapter and continue the love and support that you have given that's all for now see you again in the evening as and when uh, it happens so thank you one more time ओम स्वस्ति प्रजाभ्य परिपालयता न्याये न मगे न महीमहेशा गो ब्राह्मणेभ्य शुभमस्तु निोकास्मस्ता सुखिनो काले वर्षतु पर्जन्य पृथिवी सस्यशालिनी देशो यम क्षोभरिता ब्राह्मण सन्त निर्भया ओं सर्वे सुखिन सर्वे सन्त निरामया सर्वे भद्रा पश्य मा कचि दुख भाग भवे अस तो मा सत्कमय तम सो मा ज्योतिर्गमय मृत्योर्मा अमृतंगमय ओं पूर्णमद पूर्णम पूर्णात् पूर्णमुदच्य पूर्ण से पूर्णमादा पूर्णमेवशिष्य ओं शातशातशाति हरि ओं श्रीगुरभ्यो नम हरि ओं Thank you for your patient hearing. See you around. Hariyom.